Hey, what is up YouTube? Demon Sparks today here again as always on this channel. So with that being said, without further ado, let's get into today's video. And again, that will be another unboxing product slash review video. Another awesome product by Telesport. Sorry, this is a Rock Pals product. This is a the third Rock Pals product I've actually gotten. Been phenomenal so far. I have zero complaints with any of their products, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing video for this. Again, as always, is very nice. Be done for packaging. And without further ado, here's the inner box. It's pretty hefty. Right, the lightest product. Hopefully that's a very good sign. As I wouldn't expect anything much less of this Rock Pals uh, company that I've recently been getting some products from and I've been absolutely loving very phenomenal things that they've been having lately. Here we have the charging power brick. Adapter. Here's the user manual. Here's a nice little product specification list for this product. It says capacity is rated at uh, 60,000 mAh milliamp hour or 60 amp hour, 3.7 volt slash 222 watt hour dimensions is 235 100 by 160 millimeter 2.6 kegs so this is uh, listed up at around 5.5 pounds so it says it's a high, high quality lithium polymer battery input recharging is DC 15 volt at 4 amps uh, fully charged time DC 15 volt 7 to 8 hours output USB 5 Volt 3.1 amp max is pretty decent. DC wattage 9 to 12.6 volts, 6 amps, 60 watt max. Continuous AC power 250 with a surge of up to 300. Pretty simplistic. So, with that being said, I've been checking through the manual and Remembering back from reading through the reviews on uh, the Amazon uh, posting, listing for this item, someone was stating that, uh, or rather asking that if this kit uh, came with the solar panels and solar charger for, obviously this is what this is, is the uh, solar generator slash uh, emergency power bank. Uh, unfortunately, no, I guess they don't come with that, um, but hopefully soon I should have one of those and be able to include that into a second part of this review. Not as big as I was imagining at all. It's actually quite cutely sized. It's a pretty standard size screwdriver, so you can see the height and the width, depth of the unit. Actually quite small. Very, very nice portable size unit right here. It's got some nice hefted little weight to it. Feels very nice, good quality. Here's the back side. Well, actually, I consider I think they consider this the left side, if I'm not mistaken, according to the manual. And unfortunately, I would have loved to have been able to try the uh, solar charging feature for you guys. Uh, I haven't seen anyone else been able to actually do a review and include the solar uh, features of this unit. So I'm very much so hoping I can get my hands on getting uh, one of those panels pretty soon myself. Uh, also, I'm going to go over the bits of the uh, outputs and adapters. Here's a 12 volt to the uh, 12 volt car adapter. This is a 12 volt car adapter, adapter, the cigarette adapter for the uh, 12 volt 
plug, I don't know the millimeters of these plugs offhand. I think it's 5.5. I'm not entirely certain if they're all the same. Uh, I'll have to go back to the manual for that, but I think it was 5.5 uh, millimeters. There's the charging cable for the charging brick. There is the you know, charging brick AC adapter, 15 volt output at 4 amperes. <clears throat> this just takes in a whopping 100 to 240 and 50 60 hertz, obviously, at 2 amps. So, this is a pretty hefty little power brick right here for this unit. So, let's see what it has to say on the side. first initial demonstration test, I went ahead and plugged my phone in to the USB output charger port. And it's been charging no problem. And there, a little bit of the top view. And you have the DCs on the side, so let's try and find some uh, DC unit to test that on. Try a little something a little bit more fun, wouldn't you say? How appropriate. A rock pals on a rock pals. No idea if it'll work. It's AC 110 volt. I believe it draws in between 1.1 to 2 amps. So around 100 and something watts. Let's see what happens. So I have it plugged in. Let me go ahead and try to switch it on and see what happens. Wow. Very amazed. Took a second for it to kick on and power itself up, but can't see because the flash is on, but the battery indicators are still completely loaded. And I'm still charging my phone off of this, and as well as running that Rock Pals uh, 600 light off of just this power supply. Very amazing little unit. That was probably one of the most high amperage devices that I have, but I'll try one more thing. Here's 80 watts worth of CFLs. You have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. There's 20, 30 watts. 30, 40 watts, and 80 watts. 80 watts of power. No problem. Okay, and last but not least, here I will cover the only thing that I've never seen anyone else cover for this product and product reviewed before is the effector. I have the DC input plugged in for the charger or uh, the AC adapter charger or your solar adapter uh, for your solar panels. I have something plugged into there. However, you cannot power on the unit using AC while the unit is charging. No AC output. See? But, I will be going ahead and testing the other outputs. Okay, the USB does also not output. The 5 volt USB ports do not output while the unit is charging. I'm going to go ahead and try the 12 volts. Okay, so I'm back and with very good news. Um, here's one of my own DC cables. Uh, this is DC or uh, power or whatever kind of cable you want to call it. So anyway, I have it spliced and I have my voltmeter down there. As you can see, this unit is powered on. The AC wall adapter uh, 
where it's plugged into the solar charging port. The unit is charging. Uh, I apologize, you can't see it as well due to the camera's flash. And like I said, the unit's also on. And you can see the output. So varying, but a little bit high. Well, above the drop, nominal drop off, obviously, once you put a load on it. Go up here and show you guys the right into the DC1 port. And that is working while the power is uh, charging and that's on. So I went ahead and switched the unit off. And to my understanding, I'm guessing this is a UPS line. Uh, basically, nothing that you can do will essentially stop the 12-volt uh, out DC, which is pretty good since I want to be able to charge this off of solar and be able to run the power bank and also recharge it as I'm running it. And considering a DC is more efficient than AC, AC actually wastes around 30% of your energy being created uh, to DC. So you're wasting a lot of energy like that. So running off a DC 12 volt to begin with is a lot more power efficient. So just felt like to share those tips with you guys. Um, a few of you may have already known that. So with all that being said and covered, I hope I was able to clarify and inform everyone in this video review and unboxing of this amazing Rock Pedals product. It's the Rock Pedals 250 watt uh, solar generator power bank. But again, like I said, sadly, uh, I don't have the solar panels with it. I wasn't aware that it doesn't come with it. It possibly, it's another one of their products that comes with the uh, the solar kit. Uh, but I will see if I can get one on my uh, on hand and have a uh, review video done up of that connected and how efficiently that runs and all that fun stuff. So having migrated over, I'm going to try a second different USB input, uh, rather output. For this fan, which is a custom re-modified fan that I had rebuilt to put a different motor in, which runs at a little those 5 volts to as much as 15 volts. And it works beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and try and plug in the AC adapter with that for that fan. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and please leave a like and subscribe and comment, tell me what you thought.